So we need to take a breath. We need to consider not an idea, but a reality. Not a slogan, but the truth. I am not buying a car which puts my family in danger. We stand in the shadow of the mother of parliaments. In there, they have been allowed to vote over and over again, while we, her children, have been left pleading to be heard. Enough. The only way forward is a people's vote. We must be heard, and today that can happen. Let's rock that building with our voices. Cry out with me, hear us, 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 hear us. We thought it was going to get more control, more opportunities, more money for the NHS. The promises that we made in 2016, I think we can all say now that they are going to happen. Brexit's going to be devastating for this country, especially with all this. Oh, right now. People have changed their mind, people have seen the cold hard light of day, and people are waking up, people can see what their lives are going to be like after Brexit. But whether they're going to have jobs, whether they're going to be able to access the medication that they need, but it scares me that my children are at the front of the party. Yeah, it's very heavily raining here. Yeah. People refer to the North East and the Lake area based on a vote that was sent three years ago, and I think we should have the right to have a final say. 
I want to be able to look my children in the face and tell them that I've tried everything. And that's why we went to London on Saturday for the first time in my entire life with thousands of other people from the North East. Because I want my voice to be heard. I've felt for a long time like my voice doesn't count, it doesn't matter. And I know there's so many other people who want to be heard. So we've had it now. Well, the rain's even stopped. Well, it did get and a bit now of a chill. We welcome to the stage four speakers representing all four of our fabulous nations. From England, Susan Martin. From Wales, Silas Jones. From Scotland, Vanessa Glynn. From Northern Ireland, Tara Connolly.